So I'm on the Mac now and all I did was pretty much just do a create project, select empty project, watch the first 10 seconds of Windows if you want to see that. And then it pops up here with a project on um, the Mac version of WebStorm. And I go into this guy now because I want to go in, I actually want to uh, open a new view. So I go on the views right here and I go on the tools, I go on the windows right here and I do terminal. And now you'll see that I actually get a terminal popping up right here. And um, the cool thing is that this terminal guy right here actually has the same functionality as your terminal on the Mac normally has. So we'll start to use just a few commands. That's just to get you guys started. Now the reason I'm using the terminal inside WebStorm instead of the pure terminal on your Mac is just because it's easier for me to share you guys with code and information using the same terminal. I don't have to switch all the time between the Mac and the Windows. If you're more into your normal terminal on the Mac, go and use it. It's no problem at all. But I'm going to use this guy directly inside WebStorm by again going to the view, going to um, the tool windows and selecting the terminal here. There we go. So what commands are useful when you use a terminal? Well, the first one that I use a lot is ls and that will list all items that are available. Now this was kind of boring here, let's do an ls. Now you'll see it should, tells me that there's a folder in the WebStorm projects called first, right? So you can start listing information here. And what I also did was just a cd dot dot to go out one level, right? And then I can list what's in here. Now you'll see there's other things in here where I'm at right now. These are all the folders available. And then to get back to where I'm at, I can do a cd space and then just with a capitalized W E like WebStorm projects and a tap. And there we go. Now it auto completes everything for me using the tap. So I'll press enter and there we go. I'm back in my WebStorm. I'll do a cd first because that's the name of my actual project. And actually I went too far there. So now we are inside the first folder right here. Now if I do a cd front slash, I'll actually go to the root of my entire folder. Now if you end up there, you have to figure out how to get back. And again, if you do a list here, you'll see there's a lot of information available right here, right? So for me, there's a lot of information. I think I have to go on the users. That's just my guess. And then if I do a, um, an enter here and do an ls here, you'll see there's El Bilde in my case, or shared. So I have to go to El Bilde. I'll do an ls here. You'll see here is the WebStorm project. And if I do another tab, you'll notice it'll actually try to autocomplete that for me as well. So if I try to go back again, just to show you, I'll just do go to the root again. And I'll say here that I want to go to CD. And I don't know what I'll double tap and notice it just prints out everything available for me, right? So that's just with a double tap, it'll try to autocomplete everything for you. So when I know that I know there's the users now, so I'll write users, I'll do a double tap. Oh, it actually put me into the users folder, right? Yeah, so I'll do a CD WebStorm because I know that's available now. I'll do a W and double tap or single tap. And here I know there's a first, so I'll just do FI and tap. And there we go, now I'm back. So those are very cool commands, very important to know. The CD dot dot, the CD front slash, the CD uh, name of your folder. Let's say users again here. CD uh, WebStorm to get to WebStorm projects, etc. So LS to list everything. I think those are the most important ones. You can also make new directories with commands and stuff like that, but that's not what we're going to do. One more that I'm using a lot myself is uh, command K to clear the console. That's up to you. But there you go. Now you have some basic commands on the Mac as well. Next lesson, let's start installing all the things we need to actually start working with Angular. Have fun.